The editorial team would like to send greetings and thanks to the value listeners who have always shown interest in accompanying Gentle to our channel. In today's news about the political and social situation, both domestically and internationally, let's update you with the hottest news that has happened in the past 22 hours. Please stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, as flood discharge in the High Har River Basin continues, major flood discharge channels such as the Vinden River and the Daqing River Indi Engine continue to operate at high water levels. Currently, what is the flood situation of Vinden and Daikin rivers that has received the most attention? Has the flood containment and containment area been activated? Liu Jianzhao, Director of Tianjin Water Engineering Operations and Coordination Center, explains the current flood control situation. The Vinden River area in Hebei province has been activated. According to the report and hydrological survey of three places in Beijing, Tianjin and Hebei, yesterday, the discharge volume of the Yongin River Low Cow Bridge Junction has decreased to 170 cubic meters per second. Liu Jianzhao said that this shows that the scale of the flood can basically be determined, which is beneficial for the maneuvering work and for the research. Currently, the Vinden River flooded area in Hebei province has been put into use. After the flood water entered the flooded area, it was blocked by obstacles such as ditches and trees. The soil infiltrated. The flow rate has decreased significantly, and the general situation has stabilized. According to Liu Jianzhao, although the discharge continues, the flow rate at the Diani section in Wuqing district, Tianjin is still increasing, exceeding 100 cubic meters per second. But at present, the Tianjin area of the Vinden River flood discharge area has not been used and the flood is still flowing in the river. But in the future, it is impossible to rule out the possibility of flooding in Hebei province where the Vinden River flows into the engine. According to the Hydrological Survey and Report of Hebei province, yesterday, the discharge discharge of the new building center in the upper reaches of the Daqing River reached 2,500 cubic meters per second and continued to increase. Liu Sanchu said that in the coming time, he will continue to increase information sharing with upstream regions, promptly grasp the situation of flood discharge conduct research and make comprehensive judgments. Experts explain why the engine is flooded after so many years. Currently, the focus of Tianjin's flood control has turned to flood control, flood prevention, safety and stability maintenance. For many people in the engine, flooding is a relative unknown and it also raises many questions. Finally, the reporter interviewed Li Baoguo, a senior engineer of the D-Engine Academy of Water Science, to explain the flood situation involved. Lai Bao Kwok said that the main reason was the biggest rainfall in the Hai Har River Basin since 1963. According to statistics of the Hai Har River Water Conservation Committee, as of 11 a.m. On Monday, the total rainfall on the basin has exceeded 40 billion cubic meters, equivalent to the annual overflow of the Hai River Basin. River. According to Beijing Meteorological News, as of 07 a.m. Yesterday, the Wangji Iwan Reservoir in Changping, Beijing, had a rainfall of 744.8 mm, which is the highest rainfall in 140 years recorded by instrumentation. Measurement in Beijing Data from the Hebei Provincial Meteorological Observatory also shows that cumulative rainfall, extreme rainfall at one station, and maximum rainfall intensity all exceed the extreme rainfall events of 1996 and 2016. Ace of 11 a.m. Yesterday, the average rainfall in the rainy area of Hebei province was 154.3 mm, with 1,638 meteorological observation stations in the southeast of Jingjiaku, Baoding, Xiong'anyu area and other places exceed 250 mm. Among them, Trangtru Tranglu Ongjia Meteorological Observatory, Lamthan District, Tsingtai City had the highest rainfall of 1,003.3 the second reason is that the regulating and storage capacity of the river section between the rainy area and the engine is not enough. Taking Vinden River as an example, rainfall is mainly concentrated in Mondokau, Fangsun and other areas. The first flood storage and retention area after flood discharge is the floodplain of Vinden River through Hajong Province, north and the engine city. This means that after heavy rain upstream, the flood water will not be blocked basically. It will go directly to the flooded area of Vinden River. 
So we have seen the arrival of floods in Yanjin. A few days ago, it was reported that the Dongdian flood control and storage area in Yibi province was put into use early the day before yesterday, and that the flood time to the engine was about 9 o'clock. Many netizens questioned. It feels like the distance is not very far. Why is the time gap so long? In this regard, Lai Bao Kwok explained. In general, the flow rate of a flood in a river is 0.5 meters to 1 meter per second, and it can travel more than 80 kilometers a day at most. The flood discharge area from Hebe to the engine is about 200 kilometers. According to the fastest flow rate of the flood in the river, it will take 3 to 4 days. There are also flood-bearing areas such as Bokduondim Lake, Tiuthen River and Langkau Wine between, which can reduce the rate of flood discharge. At the same time, taking into account the flood preparation work in the downstream, if this is taken into account, of course the time will be longer. Today, at the northern embankment of the first section of Tai Down on the Daqing River, the rescue force is urgently reinforcing the embankment. Due to the influence of Storm No. 5, continuous extreme rainfall has caused severe flooding in the Taihang and Yen Sun mountain ranges. The water level in the upstream of the Daiken River continues to rise. The temporary areas to flood discharge, Taita Town, Duliu Town and Wangku Town will have 23 villages and more than 30,000 people will be displaced. Jinghai is located in the lower reaches of the Mekong River, where the Nanyin River, Xia River and Daqing River meet, and is connected to many of stream tributaries. Against the crest of the flood, against the flood, there is not much time left, the process is difficult, the task is arduous, it is a battle of life and death. Everyone must obey the orders and respond positively. Those who are able to take refuge with their relatives and friends must be moved to a safe place in time, keep in touch with each other, and those who are resettled must be sentry resettled. Must actively coordinate with each other to resettle. The people of the whole region must have one heart, one mind, no rumors, not spreading false rumors, not fabricating rumors, together building the Great Wall of Steel to win this flood. As long as we share the common situation and weather the storm together, we will surely reach the point where the flood recedes and we will return home as soon as possible. According to local media reports, as flood discharge in the Hive River Basin continues, major flood discharge channels such as the Daqing River and the engine continue to operate at high water levels. According to Liu Zhenzhao, director of the Dianjin Water Engineering Administration and Coordination Center, according to a report and hydrological survey of Hebei province yesterday, the discharge volume of the Tin and Haifuang Center in the upper reaches of the Daqing River reaching 2,500 cubic meters per second, and it's still growing. Flood discharge in the flood containment and retention area has increased, and the flood is expected to reach Tianjin around next Monday. A reporter for Southern Metropolis News from Beijing said that from yesterday to yesterday, Ni Yufeng, Secretary of the Hebei Provincial Party Committee and Director of the Standing Committee of the Provincial People's Congress, inspected the work. Flood prevention and rescue in Baoden Hung and New City and District. Since last Saturday, due to the influence of Typhoon No. 5, the Beijing Tianjin Bay area has continuously suffered from heavy rain. Baoden City is adjacent to Beijing and Hung and New Area, so the task of fighting floods is very arduous and difficult. Ni Yufeng, Secretary of the Hebei Provincial Party Committee and Director of the Standing Committee of the Provincial People's Congress, inspected the flood prevention and rescue work on the front lines of flood control. According to Hebei Satellite TV, Ni Yufeng successively visited the Longman Reservoir in Manching District and the Saiking River's flood holding and holding area in Juju City to check the flood discharge and flood storage and retention areas of the reservoirs. Contain. Ni and Hakfong emphasized, it is necessary to flexibly adjust the flood discharge volume of the reservoir according to weather changes and the upstream water flow to promote the effect of flood blocking, shifting peaks, and cutting peaks. It is necessary to strengthen inspection of dams, flood centers, deal with risks, and ensure the safety of the surrounding area. It is necessary to strengthen communication with the Ministry of Defense, activate floodplains as required, relieve pressure on Beijing's flood control, resolutely act as a moat for the capital. Ladies and gentlemen, the heavy rains make the Bok Kha River a sea of water. More than 500 officers and soldiers, reserve militiamen, are busy building dikes, 
reinforcing embankments, and preparing for the upcoming flood peak. Enji and Hak Fong expressed her cordial condolences and sincere thanks to everyone. Nian Hak Fong visited Tent and Haifuang Water Conservation Project in Hung and New District, Bok Hong Canal, South Juma River Right Bank, Dumte area and other places to check the situation of flood control and inundation. Ladies and gentlemen, according to China's weather forecast, from Monday the heavy rain will shift to the central and eastern areas of Jilin and southeastern Heilongjiang, and some areas will be affected on Tuesday and there will be torrential rain or heavy rain. At the same time, Zhejiang was hit by Typhoon Kanu. Many places in Heilongjiang issued a red alert for heavy rain. Starting at 2 a.m. Last night, Harbin City in Heilongjiang province suffered a heavy rain. At 11 a.m. Yesterday, the Harbin Meteorological Observatory issued a red rainstorm warning. The current rainfall is mainly concentrated in the main urban areas of Holan, Songthan, Aithan, Tantayan, Wushuang, Wangshai, and Dindo. The local area south of Shanghai can reach 200 minus 250 mm, other areas can reach 40 mm minus 100 mm. Rainfall is forecast to continue until tomorrow. Currently, Harbin is severely flooded, in some places up to half a meter deep. Yesterday, the main urban area of Harbin City was flooded with water. The deepest part of the water is below the knee. The water surface of the Majiagu River is close to the bridge surface. Affected by heavy rainfall, some roads in Harbin are currently flooded in various situations, making driving difficult. Heavy rain caused 40 flights to be delayed. At present, Harbin has launched a three-level flood control emergency response. The government reminded people to limit non-essential travel, close the night market and scenic spots, and 12 places including Daoli, Daoingoai and Wuching suspended classes, work and vehicles. Yesterday, Heilongjiang also issued a red rainstorm warning. The weather station in Jiedong, Suiwa City, Heilongjiang, with 91.7 mm of rain within three hours yesterday, is expected the cumulative amount will be more than 100 mm. According to the weather forecast, this rain in the northeast has strong convection nature. There may be thunderstorms, strong winds, hail, even tornadoes in some areas. According to the combined report of the mainland media, yesterday, this year's no. 6 Typhoon Kanu entered the East China Sea and made landfall in Zhejiang at 5 am today. The center is located in the East China Sea about 370 km southeast of Ngokhon City, at high altitude. The wind burst near the center is strongest at level 15. Affected by this, coastal areas north of Zhejiang experience moderate to heavy rain, localized heavy rain, and heavy rain. Shanghai will have scattered showers or thunderstorms shortly. From Mantong, Jiangsu to Xiumen, Fujian, the storm will increase by 50, 120 centimeters. There will be large waves of 4.5 to 5.8 meters in the coastal waters of Zhejiang, high waves of 3.5 to 4. 4 meters in the coastal waters north of Fujian and Shanghai, and moderate waves to 2 to 3 meters large in coastal waters south of Jiangsu. Waves hit the shore in Yuan City, Zhejiang province up to more than 10 meters high. There was also the phenomenon of reverse seawater in Shaguan, Canaan. In recent days, during the astronomical high tide, giant waves hit the Shining Sea area in Wenling City, Zhejiang province, with a maximum height of more than 20 meters. Tourists are currently prohibited from approaching the embankment. Currently, Zhejiang has closed 125 grade scenic spots, 172 high-risk tourism projects and 16 public cultural sites. Ningbo, Wenzhou, Shushin, Taizhou, Jinhua and others have issued storm emergency response. As of 10 a.m. Yesterday, 33 waterway passenger ferry routes in Wenzhou have been suspended. According to the news from the mainland meteorological observatory today, from 8 a.m. Today to 8 a.m. Tomorrow, the Hadao area of Inner Mongolia and a part of the northeast and south of the Heilongjiang River, central and western Jilin, eastern Qinghai, northern Shanxi, northern Shanxi, northern Hebei, and some areas of eastern Zhejiang have 8 to 10 thunderstorms, strongest or hail, local gusts 11 to 12, possible tornadoes. Partial rain of 100 minus 150 mm is expected in northeastern Inner Mongolia, southeastern Heilongjiang, and northern Jilin. The Ministry of Emergency Management of the Communist Party of China announced yesterday that two to three typhoons could make landfall in mainland China this month. 
and the risk of flood disasters in many places in the north and south are relatively high. The Mainland Meteorological Observatory also predicts that four high-temperature processes are expected this month, with the risk of high-temperature heat waves in southern North China, central and northern East China. China, central and northern China, east and southwest are relatively high. Forest fire danger levels in southeastern Sichuan, southwestern Chongqing and northern Xinjiang are relatively high. Our newsletter for today is here to end. Please leave any feedback below in the comments. If you find it interesting, give us a like, comment, share and press the bell to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and see you soon. Thank you and all of you for paying attention. Please leave your comment and feedback in the comment section in this video so that we can respond and help you with any inquiries. If you find it enjoyable, please like and click the bell icon below to not miss the latest video from our editorial team. See you in the upcoming news bulletin of 22 Hours channel.